Hi, my name is Barbara Jean Wilson, and I am an author, motivational speaker, and survivor of human trafficking. And I put in the word author because my first book, entitled Mute But Now I Speak, I didn't have a voice to speak and share about the pain that I was put through as a trafficking victim. But now that I have a voice, I now share my voice and share my story to bring awareness to those who do not understand what human trafficking is all about and what victims go through. A survival leader, it is my, my hope and my prayer that me sharing what I've gone through, for those that don't understand what victims go through, it will give them a better understanding and also to let other victims know that you too can become a survivor and a leader and a speaker and share with the pain that you've gone through. I titled my book Mute But Now I Speak because there was a time when I couldn't say anything at all and I remember the first person that I shared um, the information with what was happening with me because you know for uh, what a lot of people don't understand is or hear about a lot is familiar trafficking um, and I fit in that category of familiar trafficking. I was trafficked by my mother, it was her boyfriend and when she told me don't tell anyone that's how the rent is getting paid and so at that point um, for me all trust was gone and there's no one else to, to tell my story to because if I'm not being protected by her who else would protect me? So at that point, I just remained mute um, and just not say anything and just went through the pain of being trafficked, not just by him, but by other men that were brought to the house. It took me literally 39 years later that I was brave enough to just share a little bit about what I went through with a friend. And it was only because I didn't want to be stigmatized. I didn't want people to look at me as if I was dirty. It was like I was blaming myself. Um, the shame, even though I had nothing to do with it, it wasn't my fault, but all that shame, um, you know, kept me from speaking and opening up my mouth. And I was, literally was walking on the beat when, you know, I was like, okay, what should be the title of my book? And Holy Spirit said, well, you're speaking now. And that's how Mute But Now I Speak came about. Hear my voice.